Good morning, Moray Rabotai Bezash and Minha. This week is going to be 6.40. Please be on time. And also remember, Tuesday night is the membership dinner, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. And the Alachot of Muktzeh, one of the most important uh, exceptions and uh, concepts in Muktzeh is backhanded, which is tiltul, some refer to it as begufo or kele achariyad. Kele achariyad means backhanded, literally, and begufo means with your body. Uh, this type of tiltul, although there's a little bit of controversy, at the end of the day, halakha le maaseh, tiltul begufo is mutar, it's permitted, which means even if it's for the purpose of the muktze item, that I'm moving it through a backhanded means, it is permitted to move things in such a fashion. So let's give us an example. Let's say there's on the floor different coins uh, in your house that maybe fell, got scattered, maybe one of the kids uh, played with it, and now the coins are scattered in the house, and you don't want them scattered in the house. You'd be permitted to kick them to maybe under the rug or put them uh, through kicking um, in such a fashion. If there is, for example, um, maybe a cell phone that you care very much about that's very expensive, on the table and you're able to take your elbows and kind of move it off and put it onto a chair or onto a couch in such a fashion, that would be an example of something that is mutaw. Why do I say there's some controversy? Because the Shulchan Aruch says a very interesting case. When he talks about tiltul begufo, he's actually talking about a case where a person is going on hay. Now hay is generally considered straw, hay is considered to be mukze, but the person is lying down on the hay because he wants to rest on the bed. And the bed has on top of it hay. So Shulchan Aruch says you're allowed to rest on it. Ah, but you're moving something that's mukzeh. Okay, but it's tiltu begufo. And there's an argument in the poskim that say, what the Shulchan Aruch was saying, that you're allowed to move mukzeh with your body, is when you're not really intending to move the mukzeh. I'm trying to do an action of sleeping on the bed. And there's mukzeh there. It gets moved. It got moved with my body. I didn't handle it directly. Therefore, it's permitted. But to take an, uh, uh, an elbow or to take uh, a, a, a leg and to move muktzeh directly and intentionally in such a fashion, that the Shulchan Aruch never meant to permit. However, the Alakha does not distinguish. And in all of those cases, it is mutal to move. Any type of muktzeh item could be permitted to move in that. And that's one of the big heterim in El Chot Muktzeh when something needs to be moved. This is a method of being able to move it in a very indirect fashion and it will be ending up as mutav. Baruch Adonai le'olam, amen ve'amen.